Hey everyone, so in today's video we are talking about the Sephora holiday savings event. I have my absolute top recommendations. The sheer amount of product in front of me is a little bit daunting, but we're talking about my absolute favorite products. So lots of recommendations, but also I do have a little wish list at the end of the video. I will leave timestamps for you guys because again, it will be a bit of a long video. Thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the holiday savings event details, and then we will jump into my recommendations. So Rouge members, the event has already started for you. So if you'd like to shop your 20%, it is on limited use both in store and online starting on the 28th going through November 7th. VIB members do get unlimited 15% off their purchase from November 1st through the 7th. And insiders get 10% off from November 3rd through the 7th. For all tiers, just use the code savings at checkout. And for all beauty insiders, you do get 30% off of the entire Sephora collection. The 28th through the 7th, absolutely no code needed. And if you aren't a member of the Sephora Beauty Insiders program, make sure to sign up, it is free. I'll have a link down below. And I will have every product that I talk about a link down below for you guys. I have so many demos, swatches to share with you guys. So if you do appreciate it, shopping within your budget using any of the links does help to support my channel and make videos like this possible. So let's first start off with primers. Number one primer recommendation, as in I feel like every Sephora savings event video I do, I mention this product, but the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base is one of my all time favorite primers. I absolutely love the buttery base that it gives makeup. It makes makeup glide better. It makes my skin feel more hydrated, but not greasy. Having a really nice glide and a good amount of hydration is so key in making your makeup look good all day, especially in the winter. I think it's really important to have a good base for your makeup. And they have brought back the duo set, which you do ultimately get a good bang for your buck when you buy the duo. So again, this is a top tier makeup primer for me. And I also wanted to talk about a new makeup priming step that I've been using that I really, oh, I cannot get enough of it. So it is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So I use this during my skincare step and also sometimes I do apply it right before makeup if I'm just feeling like my skin's looking a bit dull. But I'm telling you, you guys, I, Ugh, I, I just absolutely cannot get over the glow that this imparts on the skin. So it is a bi-phase serum. You can kind of see, you can shake it up. You apply it all over the skin and it really does feel like a very lightweight essence mixed with a touch of like a dry oil and it will make your skin just absolutely glow. Dry skin folks, if you're looking for a prep product that is going to absolutely make your skin radiant, no matter how it's actually doing. This is so, so beautiful. I'm very hyped about it, obviously. All right, so let's get into foundation, the absolute best foundations I've used at Sephora. Number one, you have to hand it to Shiseido. They have been able to perfect not one, but two absolutely perfect foundation formulas. So I wanna first start off with the with the one that is my absolute favorite, which is the Shiseido Radiant Lifting Foundation. It is a holy grail product for me. It gives me absolutely excellent medium coverage that is really buildable. It has this luminosity to it that isn't overly dewy because they've managed to create a formula that both blurs the skin and offers just this impeccable radiance. It's never heavy on the skin and it also has the Shiseido self-refreshing quality to it. So as you continue to wear it throughout the day, it refreshes itself, which basically all that means is that this is such an incredible long wear foundation that doesn't start to look heavy, doesn't start to look cakey, it doesn't break up oddly on the skin. And the same thing goes with the original, the Sinker Skin Refresh 
blushing foundation. If you do have more combination skin, I have to tell you, this is like my top recommendation. I can't think of a better foundation or base product for combo skin, but you know, I do have dry skin and I do still really like it. But, you know, the Radiant is just a little bit better geared towards my dry skin. But I'm telling you, if you want a beautiful, beautiful long wear foundation that looks so creamy and hydrated but has this really nice natural finish, this is absolutely beautiful. Both are. I've loved them for years and I will never stop repurchasing. The way they blur and look so elegant on the skin, you really can't beat it. The foundation that I'm wearing on my skin today is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. I gotta say it's definitely in the top three of makeup finds that I have found in 2022. It's just so beautiful. Actually, someone recently commented on a, a photo of mine and said, hey, is this the Kosas Revealer Foundation on your skin? And I'm like, Yes, it is because it just has that quality to it that makes it so unique. It looks incredibly creamy on the skin. It has this gorgeous radiance to it um, without it looking really heavy. Again, a really, really nice medium coverage. And no matter the state of my skin, I find that when I put this on, it looks good every time. Fresh, dewy, beautiful coverage. And for me, I need those products in my life. You know, if I'm in a rush, I need to get the makeup on and know that it's going to look beautiful. And this is just one of those really stable products that I'm always, I've just really been reaching for over and over and over. And how can you not when the product is just that good? Another favorite has been the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is definitely um, a good recommendation for those of you that like a really thin texture. I have been really impressed by the balance of this foundation. It's thinner than like the Kosas and the Shiseido, but it still has a nice radiance to it that I think just helps it look a little bit more skin-like. You can really build up this coverage as well. I have to say, I think this is the best uh, product that NARS has released. For me, it definitely feels innovative to them. It finally, for me, is that perfect balance of great coverage, a thin texture, but wears really, really beautifully. And I love the wear of this. Another favorite has been a favorite for a long time is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's been a staple for me for a reason because to me, it's just a very elevated skin look. It is more of a light coverage foundation, but it kind of just adds this soft filtered look to the skin, this elegance, this bit of like a polished kind of look. And though it's the Luminous Silk Foundation, I think the balance of this product is that it never leans too luminous because it has that kind of silky look on the skin. Um, I understand why it's been a cult favorite for so long because you really can't go wrong. Really beautiful if you want that light coverage, but you still want the perfected look of something with a little bit more coverage. And lastly, a product that I haven't talked about in a bit, I wanted to bring it back out and recommend it again. It is the Makeup for Ever Reboot Foundation. Wow. I really do think of this as like the most impeccable your skin but better foundation. You could almost think of it the way that you would a tinted moisturizer because it is more light coverage, but this just looks barely detectable on the skin, but you can really build it up if you want to. And it just offers this truly beautiful, fresh kind of facial look. Really that glow from within kind of makeup. And I just find that it also has this blur that is, again, it's so undetectable, but then you see your skin overall and you're just like, wow, it somehow still looks like my skin, but just much better. It really is a beautiful one. And I really like the formula as well. It's very thin and water-based. So if that's your preference, I again, highly recommend it. I think it's one of the most underrated products out there. Now let's talk about some concealers. My top concealer recommendation is definitely not a surprise for you guys. So I'm not going to stick here for too long, but if I had to recommend one concealer product, the Kosas Revealer is, you know, 
it's a holy grail for a reason. If you do have more dark under eyes that have a hollowness and you just find that no matter what you do, you can't cover up your darkness and you can't kind of camouflage the hollows that you have under your eyes. And you also deal with in general, just a dehydrated under eye. This is the best concealer that I have found for all of those issues. It is a gorgeous medium coverage, insane, beautiful creaminess under the eyes. Again, that both covers but doesn't exaggerate that hollow and it's very very difficult to find a concealer that does not do that this one ends up being my favorite because it both has that medium coverage that I really love and the look of something that is much thinner under the eyes and much more hydrating so it really is uh in my opinion a perfect formula. Certainly a top three favorite makeup item of all time. If you do want something a little bit thinner or you've tried the Kosas and you weren't a fan, I have two other favorites. Both of these do an excellent job with hollow under eyes as well. And they're actually, now that I have them in front of me, they're very similar. So I also wanted to recommend this Say Hydra Beam. This is a little bit thinner and a little bit less coverage than the Kosas, but the finish is very similar. It's just that really, again, it's a fresh skin look. You can tell, you know, throughout my recommendations, I want my skin to really be the focal point. I want it to look good up close and in real life. And this is such an undetectable, beautiful, creamy look. But again, it is a little bit more of a thin product comparatively to the Kosas. Uh, this has definitely been a favorite. And lastly, the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. This, again, is quite similar to the Say, but I just find that this has a touch more blur to it. It really does an incredible job under the eyes if you have dehydrated skin, if you have textural issues. Again, it's more of a light coverage comparatively to the Kosas, but it has been one that I go back to. All three of these are concealers that I love, and you guys, you know, if you haven't heard the spiel, maybe you don't, I have tried almost every concealer that has released in like the past five years. And these are the ones that have left me happy. Now we get on into the eyes, my favorite eyeshadow products at Sephora. Number one, this is a newer favorite, so I haven't loved it as long as the other products I'm gonna talk about um, because it is a new release and it is from Dior. It is their Backstage Palette. And this is the Khaki Neutrals palette. And it is what is on my eyes. I've worn it a few times now. Um, I recently did a look over on Instagram with it. And you guys, I mean, can you even imagine a, a more beautiful palette? I really love it. It's a very simple formula. Like, I gotta be honest here. I don't think that these are like the best eyeshadows that I have ever tried. What I think makes it a favorite is the combination of shades and this awesome glittery top coat that is all over my eyes. It just feels like a gorgeous fall eyeshadow palette that is always going to give you a really smoky, neutral look with just that touch of twist and edge from the green tones. I love this warm gold over here because it's it's, it's very warm, but, but it's still an overall very neutral palette. Um, it's beautiful. Next favorites are the Moon Dust Shadows from Urban Decay. This is not a surprise for a lot of you, I'm sure, but Lithium, Space Cowboy, and Solstice from the Moon Dust line are some absolutely incredible wet looking eyeshadows and kind of what I would consider kind of my signature look or the look that I always go back to is a smoky outer V with that really gorgeous wet effect right on the inner portion of the eyes and a little bit into the middle of the lid. And you cannot go wrong with this formula from Urban Decay. It has been a standby for me for years. The powder itself is a bit squishy, which I really love. It is a very unique formula. And all of these shades just have the most fine glitter sparkles to them that really sit so closely on the skin. And that is what ends up giving you that really gorgeous wet reflection, that smooth quality both to the powder and to the sparkle. Lithium has become an absolute favorite. This is a wet, soft, smoky eye 
in a pan and it is absolutely incredible. So I know a lot of you guys have tried Space Cowboy from my recommendations in the past and still, I mean, let's be honest, this is still like a holy grail product. I will always have more love to give to Space Cowboy, but lithium I think is so underrated. It's just the most perfect, very softly grungy, wet looking eyeshadow. I just, ugh. if you haven't tried these, these are again, an absolute top recommendation. Another top recommendation, two products from Charlotte Tilbury. One that you guys have definitely heard me talk about before, Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl and the Eyes to Mesmerize formula. This is really just the perfect one and done shadow. It is the most perfect, soft, defined look on the eyes. It has this really beautiful metallic look that's very creamy and elegant, but it's also so effortless. It's really an effortless formula and it's an effortless look on the lid. It's never chunky. It's always smooth and very soft looking. It's been a recommendation of mine for so long because it just looks good every time and it's so easy to work with. And the color, I mean, don't get me started about the color. Uh, the color is what I think makes it such a perfect one and done because it washes out into the crease and looks very, very soft, but you can get this really gorgeous metallic, pewtery look on the lids. And I think that that's what makes this so elegant. It's just such a timeless, timeless shade. But another shade that Charlotte Tilbury recently came out with is the Exaggerize shade. And this is a different finish from Oyster Pearl. Oyster Pearl is this really soft, creamy metallic. Also, by the way, it does not look super metallic necessarily. It looks just like creamy, reflection. Um, the Exaggerize has a little bit more of that wet effect on the lids. It has a touch more um, sparkle to it. The shade itself is gorgeous. Again, it has that wet reflection and this beautiful kind of taupey shift to it, but then it kind of warms up as you blend it out into the crease. I love that Charlotte Tilbury decided to go with a new finish uh, for these new shades that she has come out with. She came out with three new shades and this one has just absolutely captured me. Beautiful, emollient, and absolutely gorgeous. Another favorite, um, I've talked about these for a long time since I tried them. Uh, these are the Sephora Collection eyeshadows. I love talking about these and especially during the holiday savings event because they are 30% off for everyone. God, they are just really beautiful. There are so many shades to choose from and a lot of different finishes. My favorites are Hollywood Calling, which again, it just has this really thin texture, but a very soft, wet looking sparkle. It's a beautiful, warm shadow that doesn't lean overly warm. And you know, I do like something a little bit more neutral typically, sometimes leaning cool, but it just, it's perfect. And Choco Excess has been my favorite since I tried it. Again, such a beautiful, slightly purpley brown shade that just has those beautiful wet little glitters. But if you do want a creamier finish, going with a shade like Pyramid, um, this has a little bit more richness. It really does feel almost like a cream shadow. So all of the shades do have a little bit of a different look to them. It's so fun to mix and match and play around with these colors affordable, beautiful, nuanced colors, and they're definitely a favorite. A couple more favorites in the luxury realm are the cream and powder eye duos from Tom Ford. So my personal favorite, I gotta say, is Naked Bronze. Um, I do, I like Golden Peach, but in general, I'm just not reaching for it quite as much because Naked Bronze is just the perfect wet, smoky eye. You get that rich, gorgeous cream shadow on the bottom. And then to just be able to apply that glitter topper right on top, it's luxurious. And every time you get a look that just looks very, it looks very Tom Ford. It has that luxury edge to it. And I also like that you could both wear just the glitter topper on its own or just the cream shadow on its own. Um, I like that it has that versatility to it. So these are again, a beautiful, beautiful favorite from Tom Ford. Talk more about Tom Ford in my wish list later in this video, a new cream formula. But another palette recommendation, um, I think my favorite palette of all time is 
the Divine Rose palette from Pat McGrath. Ever since I tried it, I just, I haven't been able to get enough of it. You can get such a wide range of uh, looks with it, and I think that's what makes this worth it. Even though it is expensive, you're able to get such a range of looks, really pretty, effortless, everyday looks with really gorgeous glam, unique looks. I mean, you can do it all with this palette. The blendability is unreal. This special shade up here still is one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. The intensity of it, the wet effect that you can add into any look, I can't get enough of it and it will always be my top recommendation from Pat McGrath. Speaking of sparkly, beautiful top coats, you guys know how much I like them. Um, on an everyday basis, if I want something quick, what I've been doing is going for a bit of a smoky liner, um, no shadow at all, and then just using this right on the lids where the liner isn't. And this is from Makeup by Mario. It is the Crystal Reflector in the shade Quartz. There is also another shade, kind of interested in that one, not gonna lie, because it's a little bit warmer. It's just the perfect wet glossy effect that you can incorporate into any look. It's just so easy. Really it's either this or Space Cowboy that is getting me there. It really just adds that life, that twinkle back onto the lids that I need with my look. Um, and this is just such a beautiful, easy way to get there. Very dependable. Next, so excited to see these finally coming back in stock. They are the KVD Dazzle Sticks. And wait, I do have a new color to share. Yes, the green flash shade. You guys know I had to get this. But these are just really beautiful long wear cream eyeshadows. And I always like to recommend these for those of you that want that wet effect eyeshadow, but you want something that's very like one and done. It's going to last a bit longer. So my favorite, and I think the most wet looking out of all of them is the shade Flash Storm. This is just the most beautiful, purpley, hopey, gorgeous wet eyeshadow. Lasts so beautifully on the lids. It wears beautifully and looks so perfect every single time I use it. Um, I do like the shade Hail Surge and Green Flash as well. These just don't look quite as wet on the eyes. They don't have that wet effect, but they're beautiful metallic creamy eyeshadows. Hail Surge, again, beautiful champagne, and then Green Flash. Cannot wait to incorporate this into a new look. Beautiful, so glad that they finally uh, brought back and have restocked. And lastly, to finish up the eyes, let's talk about a mascara and liner favorite. So, Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. Wow, this mascara has just taken me into its arms, and I'm just like, Never let me go. I love it so much, you guys. It gives you that gorgeous butterfly effect, really pushes up the lashes, gives you like that rich black color, wears beautifully. Really a great long wear formula, which I will say, do you think it takes more effort than a typical mascara to get it off, but completely worth it for the dramatic effect. And you can really build it up to again, be more dramatic and super, super lifted, but you can also take it to a very pretty everyday look. Very versatile mascara. It takes a lot for me to go back and recommend um, a mascara that's over like $10, but holy crap, will I be buying backups of this during the savings event. So don't sell it out before I make my order, please. Next, we have the Sephora Collection Eyeliners. I have two different shades. I have a matte dark brown in the waterline as well as this really beautiful moss green. They're so underrated. They have this really gorgeous creamy look, a great glide, and because they are retractable, you don't have to sharpen them, which I'll be honest, I get a little bit lazy about that great wear time, so many different colors to choose from, and they have been treating me right. And every time I do this eye look now with the Dior uh, khaki neutrals, I reach for that dark brown and, and this mossy green, and it just pulls it all together. Beautiful, beautiful liners. Shall we talk about some bronzer? My number one bronzer pick that I found this year is, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin 
cream bronzer. Oh, one of the best cream bronzer formulas I have ever tried. I was not expecting to love this as much as I did, but holy crap, guys. Really, half the time I'm wearing this cream bronzer. Um, It's just this perfect, luxurious cream texture that goes onto the skin. It doesn't look too creamy or too emollient. It really has a beautiful natural skin-like finish. And I think that that's going to make it work for more people. Um, also, it has a beautiful, gorgeous blend to it. It has that buildability. It's never going to mess with any of your other makeup on your face. I can put this over powder and it would work never choppy on the skin and it's just absolutely perfect. I know this is the fair shade and God, this is a good, good shade for my skin. I know it really is out of stock a lot. So I really hope that they are restocking for the savings event as holy crap. If you can snag it, I would say snag it. It's a good one. And I also do my makeup with this all the time because the compact is so beautiful. Great all around. Like I, I really wouldn't change a thing about it. A powder bronzer. And it takes a lot for me to like a powder bronzer, you guys, because I find that a lot of them look choppy on my skin. They don't give me that effortless, gorgeous blend. But oh my gosh, Makeup by Mario killed it with this formula. Absolutely killed it. This is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Light, but I will hopefully be picking up Light Medium. I just wanna see what it's like. Um, I might pick that up during the savings event. But if you're looking for an ultra blendable, such a thin, beautiful skin-like powder bronzer for the face, look no Further. I usually actually use this to set a cream bronzer if I want just a little bit more of a long wear look. Beautiful compact, by the way. Um, never skips on the skin, never looks chunky, heavy, orange, or like a stripe on the skin. It's blendable, buildable, and absolutely beautiful. And I also love the shaping sticks as well. These are often out of stock too. So again, if you see it, it might be something to snag, but I love both of them. And I love them because they're a really buildable, cream bronzer that wants to adhere to the skin. If you have trouble with cream bronzers, you're like, they don't want to stick to my skin. They look patchy. They don't give me that effortless creamy blend. These are so, so good. Stick where you put them and they will last. And they have this really elegant, creamy, a finish to them. So if you really want that true cream bronzer look, these will still give you that really natural uh, finish that I think looks really elegant on the skin. Again, such a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, I'm just such a fan of these products from Makeup by Mario. But shall we talk about some color? Let's talk about my favorite blushes. Shall we start with what is on my cheeks? So I actually have two shades on. I do have the shade Love from Rare Beauty and the Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes are still an absolute favorite from Rare Beauty. I love that you have so many different shades to choose from now. Like. It is such an expansive color line now. The look of them on the skin is so natural, even though, you know, they are pigmented. They're known for being really pigmented, but they flush out onto the cheeks so prettily. They don't look heavy or chunky. They last so well on the skin. You only need a little bit, so when you buy one, it will last. You can really mix and match, and I just love the overall effect and look on the skin. They're very thin and just give you that really great pop of color. And also I know that Rare Beauty has uh, this set that they just came out with, the Liquid Blush set. This is also such a good way to try it because you can try different, three different shades and you can kind of mix and match. So I think that this is beautiful too. Overall, such a gorgeous liquid blush formula and the best at Sephora in my opinion. So this time of year, I think is a great time to go with a little bit of a cheek and lip stain. So the ones from Benefit I think are stunning. If you really just want that out in the cold kind of look to your cheeks, any of these will be really beautiful. Though I will say I love cha-cha tint. That's more of a summer shade, but you know I love an orange blush all year round. They are just so thin and skin-like. They really do add that pretty stain to the cheeks. They're gorgeous too because you can tap them in with fingers, which I feel like is really difficult to make a formula that can work really well with fingers and not just be a stripe on the skin if you apply it. 
great colors, great longevity. And again, if you just want that kind of kissed by the snow look on your cheeks, they're really beautiful for that. I actually have two other powder blushes to talk about. Um, I just absolutely love these ones. First of all, uh, the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks right on top of love is the shade Pansy Pop from Clinique. And if you just really want to add that brightness to just the apple of the cheek or just where you want to add a little bit of that extra pop. This shade is so perfect for that. Um, I picked it up on a whim and I have just been loving the way that it just brightens up my whole look. Thank you, Khaki, for getting me to try Lavender Blush. I just find that if you want subtle kind of flush of just that je ne sais quoi, you're just like, what have they done with that blush? This gives that, it really gives that to my look. Just that vibrancy, it just really brightens up the whole thing. So I really, really love this one. This formula is really blendable too and nice and buildable, great formula. So really, really liking this one. And then lastly, Creamy Peach from Makeup by Mario. This is the perfect peach blush. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, you cannot get better than this. And it just looks creamy on the skin. It doesn't look flat or super powdery. So that's why it's been such a favorite for so long now. I'm telling you, if you are a lover of peach blush and you have not tried this one, now the only powder that I'm going to be recommending to you all is this one from Givenchy. It is the Prism Libre Rose Powder. I've been getting a lot of questions actually recently about my favorite powder. Um, I'm not a huge fan of powder, but this has, I, I wanna say converted me. It is hands down the best one that I've used. Uh, under the eyes, it looks so beautiful. I can't tell you how many times I've worn a powder under the eyes and then it just really just exaggerates that hollowness under my eyes. This never does that. It's so smoothing on the skin, really brightening. I seriously like reach for it. I go out of my way to use it, which still blows my mind that I actually go out of my way to use a powder. It is, it is perfect. Now let's talk about lips. I feel like I have a lot of lip products to talk about. So we're gonna try and roll through them. One of my favorite lipsticks of all time are the Merit Signature lipsticks. I love the shades. I love how sheer they are, how buildable they are. They have a beautiful stiffness to them. They're not overly creamy. And I think that that's what makes them that perfect sheer formula. You never get that overdone lip look. It really gives you that sheer, beautiful, effortless lip look. If you're looking for the perfect sheer lipstick, seriously look no further. And I love that they have a really neutral finish. They're not actually super matte. They just still have a touch of a creamy look on the lips, but again, still more of that sheer finish. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You really can't go wrong with any of the shades. I seriously love every single one that I have bought. A newer favorite of mine is the Fenty Ice Gloss Oh my goodness, I love this. I've just been looking back at footage and whenever I have this, I'm like, Dang, like my lips look good. I love the icy effect. It is like an icy kind of minty scent. Um, I love the formula though. It's thinner, but it still really envelops the lips and just gives you that gorgeous water droplet effect. It gives you that plumpness too. It really does plump the lips in my opinion. And because it's just like a very translucent color, it goes with any look that you put it on top. It's a really, really good one. Another favorite are the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumpers. These will fill in every line of your lips and just envelop them, give them that ultra glassy water droplet effect. If you have truly um, like textural issues on your lips like I do, I do have more chronically dry lips, this fills in every line, like every single line and offers this incredible plump look. I don't hear as many people talking about these glosses, but they are just incredible. Speaking of dry lips, this is a favorite of mine. It is from Believe. It is the Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this, this is very, very good, you guys. If you really wanna soften up the lips overnight, you have a lot of chapping, if you are dealing with a lot of dryness, cracking on the lips, this really softens them up. And the next morning, you're just left with that clean slate. You know, it kind of sloshes off the dry skin. It is a really great one. Another favorite, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. 
Wow, I really, really love the shade Honeysuckle in particular. Not as much of a fan of Peachy Beige, I've talked about that before, but if you want that really gorgeous plumped up lip plumper that is more of that liquid lip balm or like liquefied lipstick kind of texture, it's, it's still very glossy. You can feel the glossiness of it on the lips but it's just so perfect for fall, this shade in particular. Every time I wear it, I'm just so happy with the color. It's perfection. Formula just has this really gorgeous jelly kind of look. I will say though, the clicker on mine seems to be broken, which is kind of disappointing. It just recently broke. So I don't know what's going on with that. We do have some liners I wanna talk about really fast for the lips. The Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut Lip Liner is a favorite, and I think a lot of people really like this one now. Beautiful Glide, beautiful brown, pink color. It's just such an easy liner. It's easy to incorporate into any look, and I think that that's why I really like it. Really pretty too, if you wanna very subtly overline your lips. So if you really want kind of a soft, rose shade with just a touch of a brown. This is really good for that. But I will say that Sephora Collection Rouge Gel Liner, shade The Nudist, also is, it's really pretty. It's a very unique shade. It almost has a touch of a taupe. It's very light pink and it just Ooh, it really sculpts the lips. If you have very fair skin, I highly recommend checking it out. It is the creamiest out of the liners I'm talking about, but I also find that it lasts really well. I don't know where mine is, but I'm going to be picking up another one during the savings event. It's perfection. Lastly, the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lip Pencil and Toasty is what I'm wearing on my lips today. And this is a really, really good one too. This one is a little bit more brown than the other ones I'm talking about, but but I just find that it adds a nice contour to any lip look I'm going for. Makeup by Mario uh, does colors really well, and I feel like this color is really perfect. But let's say you want something similar to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plums, but you want it without the plump. It's essentially the Happy Kiss Balms from Charlotte Tilbury. My favorite is Pillow Talk. This was an absolute favorite last year. I haven't been wearing it as much this year, but I still absolutely love it. It's just this enveloping, gorgeous, easy lipstick. It looks hydrating, it feels hydrating, and it's just in general so flattering. And that's what I really, really love about it. It's just so flattering on the lips. Pillow Talk is also like a perfect color, obviously. Next, the Clinique Black Honey Lip Gloss. The perfect lip gloss for fall. I just had to throw it out there that, that I actually prefer this to the Clinique Black Honey balm. It has this really beautiful translucent jelly quality that I think truly makes it a universal product because you can kind of barely see your lip shining through and it also leaves behind a touch of a stain so it makes it definitely more of a long wear gloss like the color itself so I really like that about it. Now what I am wearing on my lips right now I am wearing the shade Telluride. It is just a perfect blotted lip look. I think these are even stiffer, a touch less moisture than the Merit, but I feel like these are closer to a true like blotted lipstick rather than the Merit is more of like a sheer lipstick. And they just really do it for me. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love the shade Coco, though for some reason I can't freaking find it. If you want that just effortless lip look, that really perfect, like you barely tried kind of lip look, lipstick, these are perfect for that. Another fave are the NARS Afterglow Lip Glosses. Definitely a new favorite for me, but these are so beautiful. They almost feel like a lip oil to me. They're incredibly thin, but they make the lips look so freaking healthy. They almost have, you know, like a liquid lip balm or lip oil texture to them. And I'm blown away by how healthy um, and enveloped my lips look while this still is like such a thinner formula. It still imparts this gorgeous, healthy, look to your lips. Like if you really do deal with, in general, you just feel like your lips are lacking volume or they just are looking a little bit sunken. Um, I feel like these are so beautiful. They really plump my lips. They're not a plumper, by the way. They're not a plumper, by the way, but they do just look so healthy on the lips. This is the best way I can describe it. And I absolutely love Nympho for that cool, 
a brown kind of lip gloss. It will really transform any look you put it on top of, guys. I highly recommend you check it out. And lastly, if you, uh, in general, find that you don't want to apply a lip mask because you don't want to stick a finger into a jar, look no further because I repurchased these just solely for that reason, but the formula is so good as well. Um, the Too Faced Hangover RX pillow balms are beautiful. This one is the watermelon one, but I love the banana as well. I keep this with my makeup to apply right before I go in and do my makeup to kind of prep, but they're also beautiful to like keep on your nightstand. So you don't have an excuse, you know what I mean? You're like laying down, about to go to bed, you see it on the nightstand. There's no excuse for you to just, to just apply it right on the lips and your winter lips will be very grateful for that. But you still get to be a little bit lazy, which, you know, I think we all deserve that. Brows, only one brow favorite, Patrick Ta brow lamination gel. Um, this does have rubberized bristles and a flat applicator. The two different sizes of bristles. You have very short ones that you can kind of finesse the brow hairs and then long ones that really just push up the brows. This is like the never ending brow gel either. So it is completely worth the investment. It's so perfect. If you have longer brow hairs like I do, it really keeps them up. Really perfect. Like I could not recommend another. Two brush favorites from from the Sephora collection that I had to recommend because they are 30% off. The Pro 18 is a favorite, you guys know this. It is the perfect dense pencil brush for any cream eyeshadow. I just find that you get gorgeous pigmentation. You can really use it to kind of softly define the lower lash line. You can sculpt out the edges of a look really easily. And it's just a perfect synthetic brush for cream eyeshadow in my opinion. I love it and I now have multiples because I just love it that much and use it so often. I also love the Pro 15 as well if you just want a soft kind of apply all over the lid kind of brush. You can also really use it beautifully in the crease if you wanna get a very, very washed out, pretty blended look. They're both such good eyeshadow brushes. I use them all of the time. And I get a lot of questions about eyeshadow brushes that I really like. And those are like two top favorites. So if you have been in the market, now's a really good time to pick up those two. Again, 30% off is really, really good, especially for the quality of those eyeshadow brushes. Okay, so for a bit of skincare, one product that is kind of random, had to recommend it though, is the High Roller from Topicals. I tend to get, or just over the past few years, um, get some ingrown hairs on my armpits whenever I shave. This has completely taken care of that. Um, it is so beautiful, it is a roller. You just roll it right on the underarms and it takes away those ingrown hairs within two uses. Um, I just cannot get enough. It is a chemical exfoliant, but it's so convenient and I just find myself wanting to recommend it to anyone that like deals with this. I'm like, you, you gotta try this one out. I also absolutely love the Wander Beauty baggage claim eye masks. I always make sure to pick these up during the Sephora savings event because they are the best eye patches that you will use. Really take down any puffiness that you have. They sit so closely on the eyes and they stay where you put them. Incredibly hydrating. Like if you are really dealing, dealing with some severe puffiness, a lot of dehydration, you've been crying, like these really do an incredible job. I just find that my eyes, like if they're not having it, this takes care of the situation and they're so dependable and work so well that I can't help but not keep repurchasing them. Eyes depuffed, hydrated and soothed. Check, check, check. Let's talk about fragrance because this time of the year for fragrance, like fragrance and me, we are like in a super, super committed, kind of obsessive relationship. So what I'm wearing today is Fleur Missing Person. God, it is just what I want to smell like all the time. Like I wish that I naturally woke up in the morning and I smelled like this because it really is that perfect skin musk smell. It's warm and homey and just very softly sexy. It's really perfect because it's so versatile. Any time you could wear this, any time of the year. And this is what I want to smell as I go up throughout my day. I want to smell that warm skin, musky. It's a very, very close smell um, and very intimate. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And they also do have a set. You can get like the full size and then you get your free travel, which I think is just so great for this time of year because you could gift one or the other. You could keep both for yourself. 
So highly recommend checking out that set. I also absolutely love and have loved for a long time Hypnotic Poison from Dior. This smells like a root beer float on me. And honestly, if you want that really warm, sexy vanilla smell with just that hint of like that birch beer, root beer kind of spiciness, it, that's what I like about it. It has that touch of spiciness that kind of cuts through the vanilla. This is an irreplaceable fragrance for me. There isn't another one like it that smells just the way it is. It is my favorite vanilla fragrance that I own. And it is a long time love for me. And it's been around for a really long time. So you know that it's a favorite for a lot of people. Half the time, if I'm wearing a fragrance, uh, it's this one. And it's such a good one for fall. Really, really beautiful. Another one that, I mean, it's like, of course, I had to recommend this one. It's still a favorite. It has been for years now. Um, it is By the Fireplace by Mesa Margiela, and it is that ultra sexy by the fireplace smell. It's like that toasted marshmallow, chestnuts roasting on an open fire smell. It is the perfect fall and winter fragrance. It lasts so well too, which is great. And I love that that fireplace smell really cuts through that toasted marshmallow smell. Like it's such a balanced fragrance. I've gotten my sister on it. She absolutely loves it and she's very picky with fragrance. I feel like everyone that tries it loves it. It is just a good one. When I think about going out for like a walk, going to see Christmas lights, like I'm wearing this. It is so, so festive. Let's talk about some dead cool because I've been absolutely kind of obsessing over dead cool recently. I only, I only have the mini versions and I will be picking up the full size during the sale. Taunt by dead cool. Holy crap. It's my new favorite fragrance, that bergamot vanilla musk. So it checks, oh my God, it checks every box for me. It is insanely sexy in such an understated way, but it's not overdone because the bergamot like really evens everything out. Literally been putting it on nonstop. Oh my God. I cannot get enough of it. I'll talk about it in my wish list. They have detergent, they have a candle. I will be buying both and the full size because I cannot get enough of it. Like seriously, someone's gonna smell you and, you're gonna, and they're gonna be like, hold, hold on. Because that's what I did to my friend. And then I became obsessed with Dead Cool after that. Also, I've talked about Milk before. Um, milk is a fragrance enhancer. It's like a mix-in and it just adds this gorgeous muskiness to any fragrance you have. So it's really great if you wanna balance out a fragrance. It's musky, it's a little bit animalistic, but it has that really pretty creamy sweetness to it. it just adds that layer of dimension. Oh, I just love talking about Dead Cool. I swear to God, their fragrances are so good. And you can also get their Discovery set and you can get a bunch of uh, minis, but I will be buying full sizes because I don't want to run out. Obviously, I get that 20%. Okay, hair, K18 hair mask. This to me, uh, I love it because it's one of the only things that has worked to actually repair my ends. So I was noticing even recently, I've been getting more split ends. You know, the seasons are changing. This two uses, not an issue. All you do is shampoo your hair, you put one pump of this into towel dried hair, skip conditioner, and you're done. And for me, because this is so easy, like the ease of use makes it something that I want to keep incorporating into my self care routine, my hair routine, and I'm able to keep up with it. Rather than Olaplex, um, because you do have to put it in and let it sit, because I can just style my hair with this already in it, I think it's really easy for that reason. I love it and it is expensive, but it works. And that is most important to me. Next, the Gizu hair oil, which is lost, but I still absolutely love that hair oil and we'll be picking a new one up because it really gives you that honey, glossy look to your hair, but it also is very hydrating and that's what I need. It's definitely a little bit of a thicker oil. So if you do have more coarse hair or if you do deal with dehydrated hair, that is a very good one. And I also feel like I notice the hydration long-term in my hair, which I really appreciate. Another product to give you ultra shiny hair is the Color Wow Dream Coat. You can only use this every three washes, I believe, but you know I always do. It gives you such shiny hair. It's not like a hydrating product. It kind of creates a film on the hair, not in like a weird way, um, but it kind of encapsulates every hair shaft and gives you this ultra, ultra like humidity proof, glossy look. It 
works. It really works and it is good. I know that they uh, have a set as well. If you wanna get a little bit extra for less money, uh, I love when brands do that. We'll talk more about sets in a second, but yeah, it works and it is beautiful. So definitely highly, highly recommend this one. Um, I'm using it a lot. And speaking of sets, you can also get the Living Proof Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo set. And then you get like a free Living Proof, the regular version with it. So like, you know, the sets are a good deal typically. Um, but this is my favorite dry shampoo. It really gives you a clean look to your hair and a clean feeling. It doesn't feel really dry shampoo-y in the hair, which is really important to me. Um, I've done demos of it before and everyone's like, whoa, like dang, you have the volume back to your hair. It doesn't look white or like crusty or anything like that and it feels really good. So this is definitely an advanced clean. I highly recommend this one. So a quick wish list before I get into some sets. Number one, I am looking at Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. I've just heard really, really good things about that liner and it is more cool toned. I think it's gonna be the most cool toned liner that I have for my lips. So I'm really excited to see how that um, incorporates into some of my lip looks. Somebody Wood by Fleur is their new fragrance. I am very interested in picking it up. Um, again, this time of the year is really nice for like a woodsy kind of smell and I would <laughs> I would like to pick that one up again the taut from dead cool fragrance candle and detergent all are being bought by me I seriously I want to bathe in this smell I want to wake up and go to bed and just consistent taut dead cool I love it Tom Ford okay so I didn't pick up the Tom Ford cream quads during the last savings event at Sephora so now is like the time that I'm finally going to because they have also come out with new color stories, which I'm so pumped about. And of course they came out with a velour khaki color story with a green. So obviously I'm picking that up. I mean, these warm shades with the deep green, you can't go wrong. I wanna see for myself and I wanna see for you guys if it ends up being a formula that I can recommend, a cream formula that's really good. Okay, let's quickly talk about some other sets. Laneige, of course, has a set during the sale and I love recommending these sets from Laneige because you get to try a bunch of different flavors. They're usually more mini sizes, so you can kind of throw one everywhere so you don't have an excuse to not be on your lip game, but also, you can break it up and put it into a bunch of stocking stuffers for your friends, which I think is really fun. More fragrance, Sephora has a vanilla travel perfume sample set of a bunch of different vanilla fragrances. And I'm like, oh, this is a good time to release this set. And with some money off, that to me is a really banging deal. Also, they have a Sephora Fall Favorites perfume set. And this is one of those sets where you get to try out a bunch of different fragrances and then you can go ahead and redeem for your favorite. And it is including Missing Person by Fleur. So just saying, that's like one of my top recommendations as far as sets go. Or of course there is that other Fleur Missing Person set where you get the full size and then that extra travel size. But obviously, you know, if you're not sure about Fleur, you could get that fall, the Sephora Fall Favorites set. And then if you end up not liking it, one of the other scents you'll probably like and you can just redeem it for that. So yeah, a lot of good fragrance sets. Next, Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a set including their beauty light wands. By the way, I didn't mention a highlight in today's video. The Charlotte Tilbury beauty light ones are absolutely perfect. And you get to try both shades. You get to try Spotlight as well as Pillow Talk, I'm pretty sure. So that is a good set. I feel like it's a really adorable gift too. And like everyone loves these. So I feel like that's like a good, like it's a good chance that if you give that as a gift or get it for yourself, you're gonna like it. Also, Skin Fix is doing like a barrier protection set. So their triple lipid peptide cream is like loved by so many and you get that and a refill and you get their hand cream, which if you have not tried their hand cream, oh my gosh, that works wonders during this time of year. I would say too, if like in general, you're interested in a really good hand cream to keep your hands protected and hydrated and not cracking, that is an excellent one, especially if you have eczema. So I highly recommend that hand cream alone, but I'm interested in this set. Milk Makeup also has a set of four different of their lip and cheek 
sticks and I think this set is so cute. Again, it's really perfect to kind of break up and give to your friends. If you just want to have um, a full collection of a variety of, of lip and cheek shades, that is such a good set. I already did mention the one from Rare Beauty. Where is it? Again, the soft pinch set. This is such a perfect gift for a friend. You get to try multiple shades. And again, this formula is such a staple. And also Merit actually has their Flush Balm Trio set, which I'm personally interested in getting for myself because I've been wanting to try more shades from that formula because I love the formula, but the berry shade I had is just kind of okay. I don't use berry blushes a lot, so I would like to pick that up. So I did mention that Color Wow has their set. You can get a Color Wow and then you get like a mini with it, which I think is always good. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. Again, I'll have a link to the sale down below for you guys. Happy shopping. Thank you again to Sephora for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys in my next one.